What's up guys? I just thought it'd be pretty cool. I recently bought a old dealer inventory out and uh to do some picking and pulling as I go through these old dusty parts. Sorry about the mess, but I don't want this stuff as dusty as it is in the shop. But I'll go through a couple of these boxes, maybe. A lot of 8,000 numbers in this carton. A lot of nuts and bolts. Nothing special. Something different. I don't think anybody did this before. There's your adjuster screw. Oil caps. Starter ball kit. Nothing crazy in that bin. Try to get this angled better. Alright. Oh, oil seal. There's all sorts of miscellaneous parts in this lot I just bought. Trimmers, and chainsaw, and more pump stuff than I normally picked. Some carb kits. I don't know if you guys can see any of this. Points, condensers. This box down here. Fuel filter, some more condensers. Gaskets. Oil seal. Kind of separating a little bit as I go. Uh, nice bar plates. Quite a bit of them actually. Bar plates are always good. More carb kits. Gas caps, watch this. Uh, 150 oil pump. Nothing too crazy yet. I did get this nice cover though, this was on out. It's like the XL12 big red cover, still sealed. That's nice. It's not all dinged up. Maybe one little teeny mark there, but other than that, I think it's pretty sweet. So far, I found some cranks, some pistons, rings, some air filters. But I don't understand a lot of this because it's the business he had, he had a bunch of oddball stuff too. Nothing really set in stone. I don't think he was a total homeboy dealer. I think he might have bought these parts somewhere. Oh, I think he fell down a little bit. Some nice carbs. Oh, this is a some kind of kit. I've never seen it come with a grommet before. That's cool. yeah, There's some mower parts mixed in here too. Sometimes you get these from a dealer and they'll put used parts, if they were good, back in the box it might have came in. We swap them out for some reason. Pushings, caps. Nothing crazy really in that one. 
Nothing was ever organized either in this place. There's no rhyme or reason what's in these crates. Oil plungers, I think. Yeah. Still look good, too. The place is really, really dusty. As you can see, they, they, were, they were in touch for a long time. Some bar plates. Eventually, when I get in the shop, I'll probably do some more of these, the filter cover, where I just go through some parts when I dig them out. The manifold. If you guys like these videos and you want me to do some more, I think I'm going to do some more. Kit. See, there's some trimmer stuff in with saw stuff. I don't think they really kept the inventory. They just had a bunch of parts. Got another box. So, uh, oh, here's a nice muffler. Looks like a 350, 360 muffler. I believe. Yep, 360. We wrote it on there. But, um, there's another plunger. Now, this plunger, these ones bring good money. But, like I was saying, uh, I want to get set up and maybe do some more unboxing because a lot of these I didn't even look at. I had my friend helping me, and uh, we kind of just take them off the shelf and put them in my trailer, or truck, trailer, or whatever I bring. Pop truck, ship them back home. That was at Jacobson Parts. I was fortunate enough to find this stuff 30 miles from my house, so it wasn't that bad. There we go. That's always nice to see. Some XL12 and Super XL muffler kits. Now these, these are aftermarket, but they are still nice. They're definitely aftermarket mufflers, but they're nice. There's another one. That's aftermarket as well. That's not OEM. Ah, uh, what do we got in here? Trimmer stuff. Jacobson. Sorry guys, I'm getting new to all this stuff. More bar plates, recoil springs. Some nice cover in there, just dusty, which is always okay. Dust wipes off, some bar pins. I don't know how good a video this is gonna video, so. Or the camera take video. A bunch of bearings. Good. So it's kind of, this is kind of an experiment. I'm just sitting out on this trailer going through this stuff for the first time. That noise you hear is a propane heater. It's probably like 32 out, 34 degrees out. Nice bearings in there. I gotta get used to the angle on the camera and stuff like that. So, if you guys think this video is cool, or I should do more of them, I'm sure they'll get better over time. 
because this is my very first one of unboxing. And a uh, 925 coil. But uh, I'll have to do a couple more, I guess. And, uh, starter housing. One fifty. So dusty. I'm gonna do one more here. Is a nice little coil. And then uh, I'll see you guys next time. Comment down below if you think this is a good idea or not. Take care, guys.